everybody, welcome to Worldly Wandering again. Here we are with a cabin tour of Iona. So we were on her second ever voyage. Um, we were staying in cabin number 15311, which is kind of mid forward on the starboard side, as the screenshot you can show here. And um, we'll do some more things about what we didn't like about the cabin later. But here we are walking into the cabin for the first time. Um, we had already put a bag in here, but lovely view out to the balcony. As you can see, once you get past the bed, quite a lot of room, um, very light cabin, very modern looking. We've got a nice TV which actually rotates out towards the bed and the phone there as well. Two cupboards under the TV. Um, one of them, as you can see, houses your mini fridge. The other side on the right, you've got the two shelves and actually towards that on the right hand side, as you can see as well, behind the bin, there's another cupboard as well. Excuse me, my COVID ban there, but I'm um, gonna explain more about how you get on board the ship these days uh, with COVID. Got a lovely mirror there. Interestingly, no uh, shaver socket in the uh, bathroom, but what you do have is the shaver socket out in front by the mirror. We are opening the door. We've never had a ca uh, balcony cabin before, but actually it was surprisingly easy to open. I was concerned that these things would be very stiff, but maybe it's because I own is brand new. We had a cabin that would have allowed um, us to be interconnecting with another cabin, so actually our balcony could be opened. But what you could see there as well is how overlooked we felt from our standard balcony cabin. Interestingly, the cabins that you see to the right, before we just went to the left there, they actually were um, standard inside cabin, uh, standard balcony cabins the same as ours as well, that had a much bigger balcony. Ours had the sofa with above it another Pullman bed which you could pull down. Under the bed you had the additional bedding which was useful if you wanted another pillow. You've got the wardrobes. As you can see here, actually it's a bit tight if you have one of these cabins with the bed in this particular way. But the first cupboard is your full size cupboard for your dresses. A little bit short, um, but this cabin was also set up for four people as well, so you can see our four life jackets above that. Next cupboard along, you've got five shelves here. One of them, uh, when you go on board, has your laundry bag and your hair dryer. And then next to that as well, we have another cupboard with um, one more shelf, your safe, which is not large enough to hold a laptop but will hold your jewellery, and then a slightly shorter length cupboard for men's jackets, etc. Standard light switches next to your bed. Um, interestingly, you can never turn the bathroom light off overnight, but you did have some nice sort of floor lights. And you've got your two bedside lamps one as a reading lamp, one as a bedside lamp. And then underneath that, you've actually got a nice USB charging port as well, which is fantastic. Although, slight shame it's not USB-C. There we are. You can see the nice view in the mirror. Over the bed, walking back towards the main door. Then got your bathroom. One of the nicest bathrooms we've ever seen on a cruise ship, actually. Nicely furnished, nice mirror. And the lights, as I said, no, no shaver socket. Underneath the sink, you've got significant amount of room for additional toiletries as well as the two shelves next to uh, the mirror with your standard uh, white company soap. And then in the shower, you've got the shampoo and the shower gel. The shower door opens towards you as I've just shown, but also away from you as well, so you can actually walk into the shower if you wanted to do so. Nicely furnished shower. Thanks very much for watching our balcony cabin tour of Iona. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment below and we'll come back to them. Otherwise, keep like and subscribe and keep an eye out for the next videos coming.